All right, what's going on, Dixie Mafia? Welcome back here. For for any of y'all that have a uh, Monte Carlo for the uh, the '90s models or a uh, Illumina, well, this is the video for you. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to replace your spark plugs and your wires. I'm going to show you what not to do. And uh, I'm going to show you what I did wrong. And I'm going to show you how to do it the right way. Okay? So, let's get right into it here. Okay. As you can see, yes, I have some uh, parts already out. But I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain to you why I have that out. The alternator. Now, when you're doing your spark plugs and your wires, the easiest part of this job is the front three. That's the most easiest part of all, okay? I will show y'all the, uh, the spark plugs because I already got them out. I already got the old ones out. Now, when you go back here to do the, uh, the back three, what not to do is do not leave the alternator in to get the back three out you know why i'll tell you why i'll explain it here this i don't know if y'all can see it or not but there's one right here right where my middle finger is okay when you take that uh the wire off um this one here is a bitch to get to okay trust me on that i went through it yesterday um, when you, if you leave your alternator in, you will have to climb up on top of the engine here and get it front or try to get it like this here. Uh, you will have to take the uh, uh, fuck, I can't remember what the hell the name of this is now. Um, it's a or this hose right or uh, this line right here. You'll have to take that off, and then you'll have to take this hose off right here just to get it out of your way now when you go back here if you if you leave your alternator in what you shouldn't do and you go back here to get that I'm gonna tell you right now I'll tell you if you do that you're gonna break it let's see this car 97 Chevy Monte Carlo this car has never had the spark plugs changed noticed that yesterday I don't know why I don't care to know why and I don't want to know why I just don't know why okay but like I said do not leave your alternator in you have to take that out to get to the back three it's a lot easier and it's a lot simpler now I'll fit or uh, I'll show y'all the uh, the spark plugs right now exactly what they looked like and I'll pull uh, one of the new ones out and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. I'll compare the di or the uh, the difference. Y'all, this here's the old one. This here's the brand new one. Now, I'm going to show y'all something. The one I was telling y'all about that you need to take the alternator off because if you don't, it'll break it. Or you, you will break it. Let me show you. I'll give you some proof here this one that's the one that broke okay it was a pain and when it breaks hopefully you're as lucky as I am and it broke right here at the top and not here at the uh, uh, where the threads are because if it breaks at the threads you have to that's a lot of money to sink into your vehicle a lot of money to sink into your vehicle, especially if you don't have it. It's not something I would suggest doing on leaving the alternator in. I most strongly suggest taking the alternator out and take or uh, to get to the spark plugs in the back of the engine. I strongly suggest it. Okay. All right, y'all. Um. Now. Let me give you uh, a little bit of uh, advice here. 
when you go to change out your spark plug wires one thing you never want to do and this is this is obvious but this is for the ones that don't know about this whatsoever that's just now getting your uh getting started in life or in the game i should say um one thing you never ever want to do is when you change your spark plug wires do not take all of them off all at once I would strongly advise you to take one off or one at a time off and change them out just like that one but one by one by one by one if you do that you will never go wrong I have uh, been around so many people that have taken their spark plug wires off and they did it all at one time and they could not remember how the wires went back that's why you never ever want to take your spark plug wires off all at once you always want to do it in sequence one by one by one by one do it one at a time just a future reference right, y'all got the new plugs on the uh, the alternators on or back on the uh, the plugs are in uh, let me show you all here all right yeah like I said I got these in brand new uh, got the alternator back in it's better to have two people to do this because you when whenever you're going to put that or the alternator back on you got to push down on this in order to get that that one bolt down there in I uh, got the back ones done uh, oh yeah by the way whenever you go to you know take this off it's or it's a common sense kind of thing to take the uh, the negative off the battery terminal so just an FYI a moment of truth let's find out this girl's gonna run let's find out here I hope it does I hope it turns over ready there she is. Fires right up. Let's try it again one more time. Yep, fires up. So the uh, tune up on the car is completely finished finally so uh that is how you change out your spark plugs and your spark plug wires so uh if you like this uh video give it a thumbs up comment share all that matters um if you aren't already subscribed uh go ahead and subscribe if you don't want to that's fine too just know we love you uh hit that notification bell for uh whenever i make another video you'll be the first to know